Good morning, modern staters. We got a nice little gentle snow out this morning. It's in the 20s. <sighs> Feels pretty nice. So it's beginning quite a few snowstorms this week. Be interesting to see how much snow we end up getting from all of them. Blossom, you seem to be our most talkative goat. Yeah, you. You're always the one that's talking. We'll say talking. Yes. I think Buttercup and Blossom are both in heat. They got both have the tail wag going on today. You gonna do it, Blossom? You were just having it. See? I don't see. It goes Buttercup again. I don't see Willow in heat. Fingers crossed she doesn't go back in heat. I hope you're pregnant, Willow. Now we could breed Buttercup and Blossom right now, but from a lot of the reading I've done, it says on the Nigerian Dwarfs, because they're smaller goats, you're better off waiting till they're 18 months old to breed them. Right now, I don't know how old they are, months-wise. They were born last April, so they're not even a year old yet. I am hoping Willow doesn't come back into heat though. Oh. I ended up buying a quart of goat's milk at our grocery store the other day. I don't know what breed of goats the milk comes from, but it's a, it's a farm in Vermont that the milk is from. And I tried it yesterday and the goat's milk does not taste the same as our goat's milk. It has more of a goaty flavor to it. A lot of people ask and make comments when I was having Nigerian dwarfs. Oh, they don't give you much milk. You need to get a bigger breed. The nice thing about the Nigerian dwarfs is their milk tastes amazing. It tastes like cow's milk, but creamier. It doesn't have a goat taste to it. We might not get a lot, but it's worth it. So if you've ever had goat's milk before, you can't use that to judge all goat's milk. It's not all the same. You girls in heat. Ouch. Yep. Buttercup is. Like, I don't want to leave. Nope. Hey. Come on. Out. You know the drill. Aw, oh, Gina and Olivia made Pluto a new bandana collar yes, last night. to Lowe's yesterday to get some parts and pieces to build the handle to put on this door. If you didn't see that, I'll put a link to that video right here. We ran out of time yesterday to build it, so today we gotta build that. Way. 
The straw bedding's working out really well for the chickens this year. You ready to go in? Come on, Pluto. Need to make a handle for New York City's chicken door. Hoping if we do this, it'll be easier to open it when it freezes shut on us. Ouch! Be careful, I already got my first metal sliver. Right there. That hurt. Well, this ain't working. Let's take everything out back and put it in the vise. Maybe it'll go together a lot easier. Don't buy a Harbor Freight vise. <laughs> this is what happens. Don't be tempted by the cheap price. Right. Nice. I went with a three inch nipple. So this way if I have gloves on, I have room to get my gloves between the handle and the door. I'm gonna wipe wipe it all down with a little bit of lacquer thinner. Get off any residue and oils. One of our viewers and subscribers sent us up this knife. I wanted to thank them for that. It's awesome, really nice knife. Be using this for years and years to come. Just gotta make sure I don't use it as a pry bar. Like I did the last one. Hence the reason for the handle. <laughs> Thank you.
That's cleaned up. We're not gonna spray it in the house. If we don't spray paint it, it'll rust up pretty quickly, so. Uh-oh. Maybe we won't be using black. I think the nozzle's plugged. Probably not the best thing to do is paint it during a snowstorm, but... So we froze a chicken carcass the other day. We got time to make bone broth out of it. So we'll get... Been invited over a friend's house. We figured we better bring something over. So we're gonna whip up a batch of brownies. That snow is coming down good right now. Look at that. It's like a whiteout.
three quarters of a cup cocoa powder. Half teaspoon baking soda. I do, I want to see your spray and technique. That's how you do it. Just like that. Do it again. Third of a cup of butter. when it gets to the bottom, isn't it? It sure is. That's not the way you're supposed to bake. It only calls for one cup. <laughs> Get your hand out of there. Thank you.
It's that heavy pumping iron. Yeah. <laughs> that works. I want to check it out. All right, see if it works. Oh, I was ready to pull it really, really hard. <laughs> Perfect. Now I'll take the handle that I put up high here yeah, and stick it in the hole. Got everything, you put the hole up there. Yeah. That's cool beans. <laughs> I was ready to pull really hard and I'm like, oh. <laughs> At least you didn't rip the handle off. All right, guys, we got your little chicken door working again. You ready to go check on the goats, Pluto? window whipping. What are you doing, Figaro? Where did you come from? He was like, keeping an eye on us. How are you doing? Yep, Pluto ran into one of the chicken tractors. You get snow on your feet. Are you a good kitty? Are you a good farm cat? He's a snow lynx. You're not a good cuddler, but you sure are a good farm cat. Oh, ah! <laughs> right up the tree. Hi, <laughs> girl. I'm ready to go back in. Arr. Put some wood on the fire too. Where did you chase Figaro off to? Huh? Brownies came out of the oven. They look delicious. Can't wait to try them. You excited for them? Yeah. I should have put a handle on New York City's chicken door, I guess, when I built the chicken coop. Man, that thing works so slick. Now I won't have to break any more knives trying to pry myself in to get the chickens out in the morning. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description down below for the brownie recipe that we used. That was the first time we tried the recipe. It's from Hershey's. But those were the best homemade brownies we've ever made. Man, I just love when you make a dessert or something new and it comes out delicious. It's always fun being able to bring a treat over when you go over to a friend's house and when you have friends come over to your house. I just love being able to share some good food with friends and family especially when you made it from scratch and you know what's in it thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys we really are blessed that you're here with us and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumna acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom